Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you why I unblocked Unsleeved Media, which is Jeremy. Now, I'm not Jeremy's biggest fan, and I wish he would treat Christine better. And Jeremy and I have very different perspectives on how important cosplay is to the magic community. He tends to ridicule and poo-poo cosplay and cosplayers. I actually like cosplay in a community. And if I had the choice of hanging out with cosplayers and doing cosplay stuff with them, I myself went at cosplay, of course. But I know that Presley and Sophie and Maddie and Amy, they're really big fans of it. And they were going to do Magic the Gathering cosplay. So from my perspective, his demeanor on it was very, it did not appeal to me in the least. However, I have decided to unblock him because we share the same view on the sexual offenders who are now dinging both of our videos on their privacy concern or private. Yeah, I think it's privacy concern is the reason they are citing. When they, their names are public, they are publishing public information. Frank is a very well-known individual and he's always self-promoting himself. So I don't see why saying his name is so terrible. I'm just helping promote him. So it is time. And one thing that I will give MTG headquarters credit, credit is he is brass and he is not afraid. And when so many of these pillars of our community are afraid, what are they afraid of? Why is it so bad to say that we shouldn't have sexual offenders in the judge program? If you are a sexual offender, maybe you get worried. Or maybe if you, are, if you abuse your wife or your spouse or you cheat, and there are children involved. So I, for the most part, wanted to leave them out. But there's many stories of Magic the Gathering pros leaving their children, leaving their children to run off using their MTG celebrity. So they're going to say, hmm, you're an attractive Magic Gathering female. I'm a famous 40-year-old dude. I have a child. I'm currently in a serious relationship. But why don't you sleep with me? Get in my bed. These are the role models we have for our children, for all the Magic the Gathering community. Now, I was going to roast them by name, one by one, but now it's a little more complicated. So I need to seek allies, because I don't know if I can do this alone. And I do have a website, and I will be posting some of the more... Uh, bannable stuff, I guess, is how you would say it, on my website. And yeah, so that's what we're going to do. The website, don't worry, it doesn't have the store. The store is never going to work. Presley's been sick for like two weeks, two and a half weeks, three weeks, maybe maybe a whole month. I mean, she's only really worked like two days or out of the entire time. But regardless, we are not going to back down. We just have to do things in a different way. And I understand, I now understand the importance of allies. And I need to accumulate some of them because some of the things that I'm going to publish and promote, not promote, some of the things that are going to come out are ridiculous. Like, I will give you a, a summary. Let, let's just, I'm not going to name the player's name, but maybe some of you guys know. So, famous Magic Gathering player, pro player, Wizard of the Coast, sponsored by Wizard of the Coast, has a baby with his wife. Seems like everything is going well. Well, he's attracted to someone else who's a little younger, a little hotter, leaves baby. Okay, fine. That happens all the time. A totally different Magic the Gathering player does what this guy does multiple times. All right, just two people. Don't worry about it. There's two pillars, right? They're still ethically okay. 
what if it was almost everybody, <laughs> right? Like, think about this for a moment. What if every famous, and this is a hypothetical, right? It's not everyone, but what if it was a larger percentage than you believe of husbands and fathers, and they were just using their MTG celebrity to get female magic players in bed. And they did this on repeat. They did this to the point that they are just, they don't even write new text. They copy and paste the same messages. And many of you will ask, man, he's just awesome. That's everything that I want to be in life. I want to be a Magic the Gathering e-celebrity hitting on people and convincing them because I'm an e-celebrity that life with me is going to be amazing and my cardboard hot, hot, <laughs> cardboard house. I was going to say hut, but I don't know why I was going to say hut. Set. Mm. I'm hungry as F. And I will tear into these pillars, right? These people who hold us to such a high standard. Hey, we're going to hold you to the highest standard possible. But we ourselves are not going to even try. We cannot try because we're broken. We, that is the thing that upsets me the most is if you want to create this arbitrary standard for the Magic the Gathering community, Butt Cracks is not funny. I thought Butt Cracks was hilarious. I didn't know why the guy needed to be banned. I don't, I don't like MTG headquarters, but I disagree absolutely with him being a lifetime ban and his collection being taken away. For like Pepe memes, like, like, come on, now. like, what, what is going on here? Like, Alex Pacini is still playing. He's still cheating, you guys, every day, and you're worried about Pepe memes, like, what? <laughs> like, this, it's. I felt MTG headquarters should have received punishment. I thought the punishment would be a one month symbolic banning, and I didn't realize he would get his Magic Online account taken away. Or that they would lifetime ban him. Very few people have a lifetime ban. And then Channel Fireball comes out and says, well, people of a lifetime ban are not allowed to come to your facilities. Which that, that means that Alex Pacini can come as often as he wants. Because he doesn't have a lifetime ban. He only has like an 18-month ban at any given time. If you accumulate them, they probably add up to a lifetime ban. I'm assuming that he'll get banned soon. That's the issue of Alex. He's, he can't. He just keeps getting caught. I hope that he's learned more skills. I hope he wins some more tournaments so I can make some more videos. That would be fantastic. For the channel, of course. All those views. Anyway, I am over it. And, you know, I'm not going to be well-behaved anymore and be part of this community. And I will be, I'll be honest. What do you think set me off? Because I had this information. This information is old and I have tons of them. I have tons of it. Because I know where it is. I know where all these good screenshots are. I know where all the downloadable audio is. I know where all the old videos are. I know all of this stuff. Because we were on the blanking Google streams together. You think this audio is bad? Come on now. So my, my point being, we're not going to back down. We just gotta be a little more creative, and we need a little. We need some more allies because it will be. It's gonna be bad. I might not be able to upload everything on this channel because some of the things are. I mean, Frank was bad. Like, Jesus, like. And I have to like do it in such a way that it's kind of funny, and I won't get banned for it. <laughs> that it's just kind of funny. Oh, it's kind of funny. Like, I was thinking of doing a skit where. I teach you Frank's moves, right? Hey, let me check that deck. In my bed? Hey, you, you could be a great magic player. In my bed? Hey, you're pretty attractive. Give me that deck. I'll teach you how to play magic. In my bed? I was thinking of making a whole video of like 25 minutes of like really funny in my bed jokes and then having like uh, probably none of my employees want to be involved in that one. 
uh, I, I probably don't want to publish it. Anyway, anyway, I, I just got to think of new creative ways to get across my point. The point is very simple. Are these criminals? No. But are these people who live perfect lives? No. These are people who behave very poorly in the past, continue to behave very poorly, and they want to hold you to a standard they themselves cannot never achieve. I admit I am flawed, but I do not hold other people to an arbitrary standard of perfection. I'm not going to back down. Anyway, that is it. Bye.